Hello, I'm Michael Lehman and welcome to iPhone and iPad development for beginners. Turning your ideas into apps one step at a time. So you want to build apps? Well, you've come to the right place. To paraphrase that old movie title, it's an app, 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 app world. Apps are what have made the iPhone and iPad a spectacular success. In the iTunes store as of late 2012, there are more than 700,000 apps from more than 184,000 publishers. And while the average price per app is only $1.69, Apple has sold more than 400,000 iOS devices and is on track by 2015 to have a billion iOS devices that can run your app. And what kind of apps are they? Well, if you look at the iTunes store, you'll see that 18% of them are games. 10% are educational. 25% fall into the entertainment, lifestyle, and books category, but an amazing 47% of them are classified as other. There's still plenty of room for whatever kind of an app you have in mind. Since the iOS App Store opened in 2008, there's been more than 30 billion apps downloaded. Are you ready to make yours? Okay, in this course, you'll learn how to take your ideas and turn them into apps for iOS devices, including the iPhone 4, 4S, and iPhone 5, the iPad 3rd generation and 4th generation, the iPad mini, and the iPod Touch 5th generation, all of which can run iOS. We'll be using Objective-C as our programming language and the Apple integrated development environment called Xcode, which is a free download from the Mac App Store. Here's a quick 30,000-foot view of what's in the course. First, we'll check out the app development process and build a Hello World app. Then we'll check out the basic iOS framework such as UIKit, which includes things like view controllers. And then we'll understand the app lifecycle. Following that, we'll explore the advanced features introduced in the latest releases from Apple, such as storyboards, pass kit, and social media integration. Then we'll look at the things you need to know about developing for iPad that are different from iPhone and iPod Touch. And finally, we'll dig into the ins and outs of shipping your app via the iTunes Store. So let's get started. 